Monk special. Welcome back. As mentioned in the intro, today we'll be talking about punk bands with female fronted um, members. Hey, and yeah. before we get started, some liquid death to wet the whistle. Okay, so I just want to talk about punk bands that had. Uh, all female members or maybe like the lead singer was uh, a woman because you know when I was young I always felt like a little bit outcasted a little bit different from like the rest of the girls and when I came across punk it gave me a really great outlet to be myself and to be a little bit unusual and it's okay to be some girls are preppy and girly others are a little bit more aggressive some are kind of a blend of the two and I always kind of felt like a blend of the two so I do want to give some recognition to all the bands that have inspired inspired me amongst many other women um to be punk to just be who they are kind of follow their own ethos and uh, uh, they deserve this type of recognition so uh, sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you like always, if you have any recommendations, um, please let me know. I would love to check out some more bands that are female fronted or uh, really, you know, pro women because, well, it's important. So to start off um, is Blatz, Cheaper Than The Beer. One of the first records I ever got, I got this from Dr. Strange Records in Alta Loma, California. Shout out Dr. Strange. And look at the price tag on that. $3.90. Ooh, I miss those prices. Uh, this band is actually led by Anna. She is the lead singer. But it does also have Annie Lalania, who does sing as well. And this comes on, quote unquote, Piss Yellow. Um, contain songs such as Fuck Shit Up, Fuck New York, Lullaby, Blats to the Future, and Hustler. Yeah. When I first heard this, blew my mind. Uh, I didn't know anything could be so aggressive. Um, so thanks Blats, uh, for introducing me to that. Um, Let's check out the insert really quick. And no insert, but the actual cover has some lyrics and some photos. One of my all time favorite. Um, I know when I bought it, my family wasn't too happy because <laughs> it's a lot of shrieking, but awesome record. Still love it to this day. Next is Devochka's. From New York City. They recently came back about two years ago. I know they're playing certain fests. Um, I'll put the flyer here and they played the previous one. It, the name escapes me right now. It's CKY Fest I want to say or CY Fest. Uh, yeah so I'm sure anyone familiar with punk knows about that going on but this is their uh, EP and I used to have the CD version of this and I let some girl borrow and she never gave it back. And I looked on Discogs and it's kind of pricey for a CD. But anyways, I was able to find this 7 inch, which I'm fine with. And this is on Punk Core Records. Uh, all girl band, except for a period of time. They did have a male drummer for a little bit. But uh, and recent and they I believe they got rid of Stephanie uh, and got a new singer, if I'm not mistaken. But still an all girl band. Uh, this one's on black. Great record. I man, this is a blast from the past. Uh has songs uh such as Oi for oh sorry, Oi Toy, Shit for Dreams, Shit for Dreams, Shit for Dreams. <laughs> uh, Damage Good, Coppers and Force. Um really, really great record. Um I totally recommend this to anyone who's interested in some sort of street punk, New York style, uh late nineties, early two thousands. Next is Melt Banana. This is a five inch record. It's tiny. Uh, this is on the 666 EP. Uh, lead singer is Yasoko on 
Onoki. I'm sorry if I'm betraying that, but uh, yeah, they are Japanese noise band. I they used to play quite often. I would see them at the Smell in LA. I don't even know if the Smell is still open, and uh, I think Mount Banana is still together. I think they still still may be playing, but yeah, really noise Japanese rock. Um, <laughs> album if you like like that noisy stuff to me i kind of like putting that stuff on for like a um, palette cleanser of the ears so then when you listen to something more melodic it sounds more melodic noise sounds like more noise and that's why i love music because it's just a feeling you get anyway next up is the avengers great band my god led by uh, penelope houston and look i got her signature i met her at the what's that place in santa Ana? the observatory in santa Ana, and uh this one is the we are one seven inch on blue and on side b is i believe in me really great band really really great band let me see if there's any more photos no that's it really underrated check them out they've been around for a long time next is x-ray specs uh, led by Polly Sterine. This is the uh, Germ Free Adolescence album. This is an original cover. This was reprinted to kind of, you know, substitute as it. But I really don't mind. I think they did a good job. I got this from Doctor Strange. Yeah, original record reprinted cover. So it's the same as a regular. It's just not the official, like, you know, it was just a reprint of, of that. We are germ free adolescents, cleanliness. Obsession. Next is Against Me, led by Laura Jane Grace. Love, 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 love me some Against Me, okay? This contains Cavalier Eternal, and you look like I need a drink. We're both in falls. Cool, cool variant. Look at that. It's like a purpley blue. Eh. Comes with one of those big ass holes. Bruh. Love it. I got a bunch of Against Me stuff, but I wanted to include this one because it has one of my favorite songs, Cavalier Eternal. I love that song. Probably one of my top Against Me songs. Next up, I actually picked this one up yesterday. I don't want to give anything away. At, uh, Rhino Records in Montclair, formerly in Claremont. Rest in peace. I do miss the original one, but from what I heard, the rent got too expensive. So, you know, capitalism. Thank you very much. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, they are not a punk band, but punk esque, right? Uh, from Japan. From Japan. Um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with the song A uh, Woohoo, um, Blue, um, Kill Bill. If you've ever seen Kill Bill. Uh, but I believe this is a new uh, release of theirs. It does come with a uh, bird dance beat and bird in the jungle. Very Ramon, Ramon's uh, inspired kind of band. But um, yeah, I also have a, a 10 inch by them, but I forgot to bring it. But I'll insert a photo here of it. And yeah, great record. A little pricey, but I mean, they don't really release a lot. And I think that, yeah, this one's limited to 25 of 500. So I had to have it. Next up is Kathleen Hanna's Spoken Rockstar Word. Uh, this is just like her kind of talking about Kathleen Hanna of Bikini Kill La Tigra, if you're not familiar. Uh, this one, uh, she's just doing some spoken word kind of stuff. Uh, I did pick this up from, I don't remember the record store name, but it was in San Diego. And it's on Kill Rockstars. How ironic, Kathleen, when you've been crowned the newest queen. If you know, you know. And it did, look at when I bought this record, uh, it came with this little note inside. And it says, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> um, I don't really know what they're talking about in here. It, it was like some notes that were passed along like two friends during class, but I thought it was cute. This was somebody's 
you know, seven inch and they got rid of it. They forgot their little note, but yeah. Anyways, Kathleen Hanna, if you're not familiar, check her out. Great, great musical artist. And I seen uh, Bikini Kill when they returned a couple of years ago. I believe I saw them at the Wiltern, somewhere in LA. Um, great show, still a lot of energy. Uh, next up is Suck Dog, led by Chris Crystal Lisa Carver. She was a um, woman in the 90s who had a zine that was pretty big. Um, but this is her band, it's Suck Dog. Uh, kind of noise, um, avant garde punky kind of thing. Noise, if you like noise. But, you know, I get it. Because I'm just a fan of her work. If you ever have a chance to read Drugs Are Nice, uh, check it out if you like, you know, the stories of somebody who's lived kind of a crazy life. For me, that's right up my alley. But yeah, Lisa Crystal Carver of Suck Dog. Um, it's actually a split with Smog. I forgot to mention that. So one side is Suck Dog, the other one is Smog. <laughs> Next up is Luna Chicks, led by Theo Kogan, all girl band, okay? Uh, lead singer is Theo, like I mentioned. Uh, this is a, I think it's a gatefold, which is interesting for a seven inch. Um, but yeah, it is. Oh, check them out. Now, there was once a time when uh, the Lunatics played with no effects and no effects dressed up as lunatics lunatics i think it was for a um new york i'm sorry new york a uh, new year's party and i'll insert a picture of fat mike right here looking crazy as hell as usual and um yeah that's a lunatics reference if you've ever seen that sorry about my hair it looks silly today uh next up is habak led by uh, Alejandra Valdez. Habak is melodic crust from Tijuana, Mexico. And they are just a great band. Oh my God, have they taken over? Um, I'll insert some video here. <laughs> This album pressing, very beautiful. Came with a lot of stuff. I think it came with a um, postcard, a sticker. It comes with a flexi and it does come with a 10 inch record. This is a great album. Please check them out. Melodic Crust Habak, led by Alejandra Valdez. Next is Suburban Lawns. Okay, led by Sue Tissue. Uh, birth name, Sue McLean. Very interesting, interesting band. And this, uh, they're from Long Beach, Long Beach, California, new wavy punk band. Um, that's the big song janitor. So check them out, Suburban Lawns. Uh, next up is, now this band had a couple lead singers sometimes it was steve ignorant and other times it was eve libertine and that is crass on playing for uh on the record or singing i should say penis envy um great record you know english anarcho punk classic anarcho punk okay now let's check uh, let's take a look at what this comes with on Crass Records. Um, let's see. So of course, you know, any Anarcho, um, D-Beat, you know, those kind of bands, they always have the greatest inserts ever. Ooh. And it always usually comes with a poster, a lot of lyrics, because they got a lot to say, you know, and I don't blame them. Remove your mask. It's hard enough to find water here. I want so gently to remove my mask. Okay. Music is supposed to say something. Okay. And Crass nails it. So check them out. Eve Libertine did lead it during this uh, crass era. 
So again, that's Crass's Penis Envy. Okay. This one's the remastered version. And you know, for certain punk records, you kind of want the remastered version. Some of it, you want that grit, but I think the remastered sounds pretty good sometimes. So give it a shot. Next up is the Avengers again. Now this is their, um, their, their LP, their, their full album. Now this is the only album they ever made, sadly. It's great, it's a great record. This is an original press. Um, take a look at the band. There's Penelope Houston. Again, this is an original pressing. I got this one at Doctor Strange and it was there for a long time. I, it was actually a gift, um, but it was sitting on the shelf and uh, surprisingly nobody picked it up for a long time. So it was meant to be in my collection and I'm happy to have it. Um, I'll insert a clip here of my favorite song, Car Crash. <laughs> up is once again Kathleen Hanna of Bikini Kill all girl punk band Riot Girl uh, I think it's in Seattle I'm pretty sure uh let's take a look if it has an insert ah. yeah it does how fitting girl power Bikini Kill comes with some sort of insert like a magazine I'm uh, sorry newspaper insert so again, you know, the bands that have something to say, they have the answers because they want you to read their lyrics. They want you to understand what they're trying to convey. They later on went, most of the members, I believe, went on to uh, create uh, La Tigre. So, 90s Riot Girl, led again by Kathleen Hanna. To segue into our next uh, record, there's a video out there that shows Kathleen Hanna um, watching Brody Doll's first band, Sourpuss, in Australia, I believe, or LA, one of the two. <laughs> They're on like different continents. But anyways, that segues me into Brody Doll's The Distillers. I love this album. Insert I Am A Revenant here. As I was saying, this is uh, Brody Doll's band, The Distillers. This is on Hellcat Records. Uh, this is Sing Sing Death House. Uh, I love Brody Doll. I wish The Distillers would maybe come out with something new. They haven't in quite a long time, but I know, sh you know, it happens. But I love this album. Every girl in the 2000s wanted to be Brody. Every punk girl, at least, she was the it girl and she's still the it girl. I miss you, girl. I hope you're well. And I hope you guys come back soon for some new music because I will, I'll rock that stuff. I'll rock it, I'll bump it. Next up is the, the Donnas. Now, the Donnas, all girl punk band, really influenced by the Ramones, hence why they're Donna, you know, F, R, a and C. Look at them, they're so young. They must have been like 16 here. Look at her, she looks like a baby. But yeah, Rock and Roll Machine, my favorite uh, album, I'm sorry, not album, my favorite song on the album. This is American Teenage Rock and Roll Machine. How cool are they? I love it. Comes with an awesome, look at this, 1998 calendar. Of the girls in the band so cool lyric sheet and this does come on orange i want to say i did buy this in oh, i'm sorry red i did buy this in utah like at some random vinyl store i don't recall i really should be better about that but yeah and when i purchased it the clerk was like that is such a great record and i'm like right isn't that so cool i was surprised they had it because they really don't uh, have much of the Donna releases. So, um, but yeah, criminally underrated. I know they're big for that song taken off, which is great too. That album's really cool. I think it's Spend the Night. But this one, pure rock and roll, pure, like if you like the Ramones, check them out. Next up 
up is led by my one of my favorite girls ever, Gwen. Gwen Stefani. Now I know now she's gone country pop, but it's okay. I still enjoy her music and I'm really grateful for her and her work in No Doubt. I mean, she really led the segue um, between, you know, femininity and rock, rocker, rockera. And for that, I'll always have a place in my heart for Miss Gwen Stefani. And this one comes, this is, tra this is No Doubt's Tragic Kingdom, I didn't even mention, on a translucent orange. Orange to pay homage to Orange County, California, Anaheim and specific uh, from where they're at, where they were born and raised. Uh, this does include, uh, let's see, let's insert this back inside so we preserve our records. And I'll let you know the track list in just a moment. Okay, this does contain uh, spider webs, excuse me, Mr. Just a Girl, Happy Now. And Sunday morning, don't speak. So a lot of the, a lot of their hits, a lot of their you know ska, uh, punk, rock blend. So yeah, Tragic Kingdom, Miss Gwen Stefani. The next up is Deseos Primavitos, and this is led by Concepcion, lead singer. They are a Spanish Oakland band. Um, and this one is pressed on orange, very similar to the one we just saw, Tragic Kingdom. Except this is a little more yellow. But yeah, this band sings in Spanish only. And as mentioned, they are from Oakland. But they do talk, talk a lot about Spanish rights, uh, indigenous rights, and so forth, which is important. So check them out. Yeah, all Spanish. They, they speak in Spanish. Seeing in Spanish, I should say. Awesome cover, look at that. Yeah, one of my favorite albums when it did come out in 2020. Yeah, wow, it's already been four years since that's been released. Next up is not a punk band. However, they are uh, an indie band from New York. Uh, lead singer is... Katsu Kamiro from Blonde Redhead. So this was recorded in 2000, okay? Uh, this is Melody of Certain Damaged Lemons. Very interesting names that they have for songs. Uh, they include Equally Damaged, in particular, Melody of three, Certain Three, Hated Because of Great Qualities, uh, and the list goes on. Again, New York City band, indie, you're probably familiar with their song, ah, if you watch Rick and Morty, that's them. Great band. I have more records by them, but I just wanted to showcase uh, one of my favorites. Again, led by Katsu Kariko, um, yeah, NYC Indie. One of my favorite of all time. This is... Action Pack, led by George Cheeks. Now, don't get it mistaken, George Cheeks is a woman and she is the lead singer. Uh, this, I believe, is a comp of uh, some of their bigger songs off these albums here. Uh, this, yeah, this is a singles from 81 to 84. It includes songs like London Bouncers. If you're familiar with that uh, Punk and Disorderly comp, girl, that is one of the best songs ever. That song hooked me to punk. I heard that. I heard that bass line. And I was like, what in the is that? Great, great, great band. Really underrated, surprisingly. Um, yeah, London Bouncer, Suicide Bag, People, Times Must Change. 60s flicks, those are some of the tracks on this album. Um, let's see if it comes on any color. Um, I don't want to call on this one. It might be on a red. Yeah, it might be on a red. It might not. Let's take a look. And no, it's on black, but uh, check out the sticker label. It does come with this cool, awesome booklet. It's on Puke and Vomit Records. And it's a booklet of their band's photos. So cool. 
check it. That hair. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, like I said, not a lot of people into this band, surprisingly, and they're really good, really great catchy songs, uh, you know, punk from London, and um, they, had a, they had a good amount of records. I mean, there's at least six on here, and there's more that I have that aren't even listed here, so they have a good uh, discography if you want to check out. This video uh, of women in punk, it, I wanted to include a punk that, uh, punk, uh, a band that it's really close to my heart and I really do want to showcase them. I know they've blown up quite immensely recently and that is Amy and the Sniffers, Amy Taylor, led by Let Amy Taylor, lead singer. Now this album is their big attraction slash giddy up first album they've released. I know the original uh, has a different cover, which I'll put here. Um, so I stand corrected. Um, the first album is a is a comp between the first two EPs, Giddy Up and The Big Attraction. So, yeah, gone back to the video. But I think that one's a little pricey. I was only able to find this one. I got this at Amoeba in LA a couple years ago. So uh, I love them. I think they're great. Really fast paced, rock and rolly, punk, positive message while still not taking anyone's shit. You know what I mean? So. Uh, they did follow up this album with Amon the Sniffers, self-titled. Uh, this one went fucking crazy, okay? Once this came out, this is when they really blew up. Uh, let's go back real quick. This one contains songs like I'm Not a Loser, um, Kellex, Cowgirl, Pleasure Forever, 70s Street Munchies. Uh, really, really, this is like the most punky record. Uh, but this one is uh, very punky too. Uh, with rock and roll mixed in. This one has Gacked on Anger, Starfire Starfire 500, uh, Got You, Shake Ya, Some Mutts Can't Be Muzzled. So, ah! let's see if we can open up the inside. I think this one, yeah, this one is a really cool, looks like an egg. It looks like a, an egg yolk that cracked. But um, let's see what insert they have. Yeah, they, they yeah, right here. So, how cool is that? Amy Taylor. Very cool. Uh, what they followed that up with was uh, Comfort For You. And uh, is it Comfort For You? For me, I'm sorry. Comfort For Me. This is probably my least favorite album by them. I still really like it a lot. It has great songs. Uh, Guided by Angels, Security Hurts. Those are like the big hits on here. It freaks to the front as well. Uh, this one, I feel like they mellowed out a little bit, uh, which is... Fine, it's good. I really like the lyrics on it, uh, but the sound wise, uh, still, like I said, great album, but uh, they just slowed down a little bit for me, but I still enjoy it. And here's the inside of that. Uh, Comfort to Me album on ATO Records. And let's see, does this come with on color press? Oh, hello? Um, yeah, it does. I don't really listen to this one too much, so, but like I said, I do enjoy the record. It also has this, came with a zine, so this one was the zine version, and has some artwork in here. Selfie by Amy Taylor, and it has just some information on the whole band. And uh, to wrap it up, Amy Taylor and, or Amy and the Sniffers, uh, is their most recent album, Cartoon Darkness. I picked this up yesterday from Rhino Records. Uh, this one, they came back hard, okay? Like, comfort to me, chilled out. They are like, let's wrap it up. And Cartoon Darkness, it just, it hits the mark on the head, okay? It contains songs like Jerkin, Chewing Gum, Big Dreams, uh, you should not be doing that, okay? This one does come on Smoke and Me Lonies version, which is a beautiful translucent um, with smoke. And it does come as well with a really cool poster. Very cool. Well, that wraps it up for my Women in Punk Vinyl uh, collection. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, if you have any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to know more about different bands. And there are countless other women in great bands that I, I didn't mention today, but I'd like to thank each and every one of them for, you know, being a vital asset to the punk community. And um, yeah, women's rights people, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Later!